situation. I didn't play a concert now two years and a half. I wasn't in front of the audience on stage, mm -hmm. which is crazy for a musician if yeah. you think about it. I never thought this would ever happen. And I really miss this contact with the audience. I don't even remember the experience. So I'm really looking forward when the tours start again to feel the fans, the, the love from the real people. But a lot about the girls I have to ask you <laughs> because, because uh, last uh, two years ago we, we did another interview and I said, uh, told to you that uh, you are uh, ridiculously handsome no. and, and that's not an uh, accident. You, you are sometimes, you, I, I, excuse me for, for this, but I think so. You're like, like, a, like a tank for the girls that said I can't resist it. Ah. Like, how, do, how do you feel this one? Well, I mean, it's mutual. Mm -hmm. They love me, yeah. I love them, so I don't see any problem. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have you got a, a type? Uh, not, not just the, the, the hair or the, the figure, the, the soul. I, what kind of girls do you like? Well... Cheeky or, or, or uh, shy? Shy. Really? Feminine. Shy. Very. And, and if they like music, that's even mm -hmm. better. If they know, they know if they have a lot of knowledge about music, if they, really? especially if they know classical music, this is what turns me on. Yeah, it's it's interesting. And I heard also in an interview that you you imagine the way you gonna live, the way you're living now. Yeah. It's like you dreamed your real life. I visualized so it, everything. Yeah, yeah, you created your life. How My you life is that? a fairy tale because. I live in a fairy tale in my head, so everything around me becomes a fairy tale. I believe in that. Actually, it's like mindfulness or something. Yes, so. and I really believe uh, the life is magical, life is beautiful, life is a fairy tale, and then you really make your reality the same way. If you are negative, you attract negative. If you are thinking like me, like a child, I never grow up, I never want to grow up, I just live in this fairy tale. Magic land yeah. of romance, of uh, love, of music, of beauty, and my reality is like this, and it's just gonna get better from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you something. Tell some details. I mean, this. How are you creating this life? So, I mean, you sit down, and you're meditating or something. It's all in the mind. I'm 24/7 in this uh, magical atmosphere, basically. I don't want to accept reality for what it is. I have my own reality, which is beautiful, which is like like in the most amazing movie. But how can you not raise your attention to the? I just don't care. I ignore the noise. Mm -hmm. Just don't listen to anyone. Don't listen to anything. Switch off the news. Switch off TV. Don't read any article. Just create your own magic world. It's like you have um, a magical island in, exactly. your, in yourself. Exactly. And everyone can do it. It's all here. Mm -hmm. and here. But what would you say to the, you know, a lot of people who cannot imagine how to live like that? I know it's not easy because a lot of people just get under this influence of everything. Social media. First of all, everything starts from your parents at home. Mm -hmm. You listen to them, you believe them, you, they are your authority, you think they're right. And then school, the kids around you, then so you get influence from your friends, and then media. All your life they're washing your brain and setting you up for a failure, yeah, basically. Brainwashing, yeah. Brainwashing you. And then, and I decided to brainwash myself from the... I like that. As soon as I was born, so I just didn't care what anyone was saying. No one believed anything. Who would believe if I told them, you know, with cello I will change the world, I will fill up stadiums, arenas, millions of people will love what I do. Who would believe that? Because cello was not even a popular instrument. Not even in the classical music is not considered uh, some important solo instrument, you know. Mm -hmm. And all the music, the music that they do, classical music, uh, these old romantic songs, no one thinks, everyone thinks it needs to be something that is popular now, that is trendy. And I just never cared about anything. I just followed my heart and did what I wanted to do. And I'm a romantic soul, I, I'm this old soul and I just follow my dreams. 
Oh, it's so hard. It's, uh, also. it's good. Um, yeah. uh, uh, nothing pressure, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, I saw your latest, uh, one of the latest uh, videos. There's a beautiful girl. Who is she? Uh, the cello girl. And she is a mysterious girl. So, and she has to stay mysterious. That's the whole point. She is Mrs. Cello. Mrs. Let's call her Mrs. Cello. Is she Hungarian? That's all. It's a mystery. Oh wow. We will never know. <laughs> but tell me something about this video because it uh, seems to be symbolic to me and oh, to everything. This everyone. video means so much to me on so many levels because it's like because cello. I when I play cello usually it's I always imagine it, it has a shape of a female body. Cello itself. It's such a sensual instrument. And when I make music, when I play cello, it's always like an experience of making love. Oh my god! Wow! You know, a very intimate experience. And that's how I treat my cello anyway. Like a woman, like some feminine. And then I wanted to amplify that feeling through the video to show people how it really feels to make music on, on the cello and then in the end she, she disappears which is another symbolic thing like you don't even know what is real what is not real is it a girl is it a cello was it hmm. many many segments in this video it can be interpreted in so many ways what is sex's meaning to you because i guess it's not the money no. success is the ability that you can live your life the way you want to live and, and earn a living by doing something you love to do. What something you would do anyway. Even if this wasn't your job, you would still want to do that. And that's that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. it, I don't feel it as a work. My my life is just a holiday, very day. Because when I play, I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I never work. I didn't work one day in my life. Sounds so good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. That's the legend. Uh, what was your favorite experience? Like, like the calling of Aton or something? I met so many incredible people and legends. Some of them I can't even talk about now because it's in the process. It's oh wow! In the making. I, I I've done wonderful music with wonderful, amazing artists. So hopefully soon people will know about that collaboration as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, when you are, when I, when I'm with them, actually, it's when you feel most natural because they are similar kind of people who just care about music, and creation. They're in this uh, world, you know. They get lost in this world of music. So we just close eyes, listen to music, create music, and this is where I feel most in most natural environment mm -hmm. yeah, with other artists. It's like you all out of this world, but yeah. also you are... It's like we are in our own world, like kindergarten actually, because we are all become like kids, because yeah. we are so excited. And all these people, like Elton John, even after so many years of making music, he's still so passionate and excited, like first day. He didn't lose enthusiasm, I think he has even more. He's, been, he's touring more than ever, he's creating more than ever, he's playing all the time. Those are the people who live music. This is their mission, their calling. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting because a lot of people, you know, get bored about Yeah, them. you would think they're tired, they're bored. But they're like even more driven than when they were young. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's like you can get burned out. You. No, this is something that never fades away. Mm -hmm. If you are doing this from your heart. Some people fade away because it wasn't for them to start with, you know. But the real musicians, if you're a real artist, never fades away. Mm -hmm. It's always your main passion. Yeah. But how do you get so much self-confidence to do that? I mean, from your childhood until now? And... Well, music is something I was always comfortable with from early age. I just had this confidence that to, to create, that everything flew naturally from me. I didn't really think much about it. Mm -hmm. well, many people just analyze, talk about techniques, talk about theory. This is where actually messes you up. I never analyze, I never talk about theory. I just take cello and I just try to touch people's hearts and then that's all. It's just like go with the flow. Yes, go with the flow. That's music. Music is not theory. 